going to be looking at areas of uh, certain geometric figures next, and these figures are triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. So basically, when we're looking at this here, what you want to do is you want to look at, uh, you want to find each figure's base and its height, and we abbreviate base with B and height with H. So here we have a triangle over here. The base is the bottom. The height is the is from uh, it's a right angle from the base straight up to the highest point of the figure. So we have the base and the height. And for a triangle, the formula is area equals base times height, and then divide by two. Uh, for a parallelogram, remember a parallelogram is a, is a figure. It's four sides where the bottom and the top side are parallel to each other, and then the sides are parallel to each other as well. And in this case, the area is simply base times height. That's it, base times height. And finally, we have a trapezoid. And if you recall from our earlier toolkit, that a trapezoid is a four-sided figure where the top and the bottom are parallel to each other. And the formula for this is a, is a little bit different. What we do is we take 1 half, or 0 0.5, and we multiply it by adding the two bases together. We have base 1 on the bottom and base 2 up here, or vice versa. It doesn't really matter which one is base 1 and base 2. And then we multiply that by the height. So let's do this. Uh, why don't you pause this for a minute and go ahead and copy down all the figures and the formulas and so forth, and then unpause it, and I will show you how to do this with a few numbers instead. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to copy down the figures and the formulas, let's do this with real numbers here. So let's take a look at this triangle up here. And let's suppose that the uh, base is 12 centimeters and the height is 8 centimeters. Here's how you'd find the area. It's this simple. You take the base times the height, base times height. So it'll be 12 times 8, 12 times 8, and then you divide by 2. So in this case here, you would take 12 times 8, and 12 times 8 is 96, and 96 divided by 2 would be 48, and then we'd say it's square centimeters. Don't forget your units here. All right, on the next figure here, once again, we have the parallelogram. So let's use some actual numbers here. I'm going to make up these numbers here. I'm going to say the base is 10 inches, and the height is 4 inches. In this case, the area would be simply base times height. It would just be 10 times 4, and that is 40, and we would say inches squared, or if you prefer, like I did up here, you could say square inches. It's up to you. So that's the answer for the second one. And then finally here, let's go down to the last one. Make up some numbers here. So let's say the bottom base, in this case is base 2. Let's say this is 7. The top base is 5 and the height is 3. So what we would do is this. We'd say the area is 0.5 or 1 half. I'm just going to write 1 half over here. Same difference. I'm going to add the bases together. 5 plus 7 and then multiply by the height. So in this case it would be 1 half. Let's add these two together. 5 plus 7 is 12 and then times 3 on the end. Half of 12 is 6, so this becomes 6 times 3, and finally we get 18. And since units were not actually used here, like before we had inches or centimeters, we're going to say it's, it's square units, since we don't know what the units are. So that's how you find the area of a triangle, parallelogram, and trapezoid.